If students learn about the environment with California's EEI curriculum in the classroom and then have a chance to put that knowledge into practice in an outdoor setting, will they learn more and will they better understand how human and natural systems impact one another? Will they develop a lifelong commitment to environmental stewardship? The San Mateo County Office of Education is conducting research to answer these questions with help from some state and community partners and a generous grant from the American Honda Foundation. Well, the excitement of this program is that we're working to develop a more comprehensive professional development experience with EEI and outdoor education. I got to work with San Mateo Outdoor Education, Office of Education and Environment, Walker Creek Ranch, Department of Water Resources, and Project WET, and we're trying to get more hands-on experiential learning for students. We came up with a plan to have EEI implemented with these teachers, and then to have their students go to outdoor education program and see the outcome of that integration. What we're hoping for from all kids, and hopefully we'll see from uh, implementing the EEI curriculum uh, through the Honda Foundation is, does it make a change in these students' life? Do they both understand the environment and do they appreciate it? And the end result, is there a care? Will they be better stewards of our planet? Dana Chite is one of the teachers who participated in the program. With my population, they're mainly urban. They tend to have you know, two working parents, they don't get a lot of free time, and the free time spent with the family is not often outdoors. So this is sometimes the first experience they're getting, putting their hands on these ideas and these living organisms that we've been talking about with EEI. Kids love being experts, and especially to their siblings. They start to see their own personal impact in the environment. And these basic scientific concepts, which can get pretty advanced even at the elementary school level, become more relevant to them. So when they tell me all the things that they're going to teach their little brother and sister about that they got to see at Outdoor Ed or that they learned through EEI, it is like the biggest win for them. And I encourage that. I say, great, you know, I do my job here. It's up to you to teach everybody else outside of school. So they love that. It's important to learn about the environment so that if someone wants to become a scientist or if you really want to become a naturalist at outdoor ed or something, then you'll know a lot about the environment. Invertebrates are, are important because they're a part of the ecosystem. Students in the classroom, they learn the important vocab. They learn about the water cycle. They learn about what macroinvertebrates are. Macroinvertebrates are these magical creatures and they're babies. They're baby dragonflies and baby mayflies and baby stoneflies. And it's not until they can actually hold these creatures in their hands and have the sense of discovery and wonder that they feel really connected to what they've learned in the classroom. The most fun thing today was trying to catch the animals in the pond so we could match them with the piece of paper. We provide them with the experiences in the classroom and we front load them the information and when they're here they're excited to learn about these things. So learning about transpiration in the classroom translates to putting a Ziploc bag around a redwood leaf and seeing it happen in real time. And things like that are what get, gets kids really excited. I think the water cycle is important because without it, how are we going to know where water goes? Will it rain? Will it evaporate? Implementing EEI was very seamless. The kids took to it immediately. They like anything that's new, as you know, so a new tiny format, the magazine format, they immediately loved. But I found that a lot of the vocabulary and concepts were things I was familiar with as a teacher. It adhered strictly to the fifth grade curriculum in terms of our science. It just took it a step further. And that was the part that as a teacher was really exciting because that further step, the kids did most of the work. It was asking them questions about how can you take this into your environment or giving them a scenario about a watershed and a pollution issue. It would talk about the source of the problem and then the kids had to implement a solution and they had to use the vocabulary that they'd learned and it was very structured in the sense that they had all the vocabulary that was there, it was things that I was used to because like I said it adhered to things that we already used in the classroom. Um, but it was a very seamless transition and when the unit was over they were sad but we were able to pick up the other curriculum without missing a step and get right back into it.
When students arrive at outdoor education, they come thinking that they won't be able to survive the week without their iPads and their computers and their video games. But through the course of the week, they realize that in the forest around them, there's a lot of magical things. Um, and here at outdoor education, they realize that they can be away from the technology for a while. And they're able to bring that back home with them and they're able to teach their families about the importance of stewardship. I wish I had EEI as a child. Personally, I, I grew up in Southern California, near, near Los Angeles, and I had very few experiences in the outdoors as a child. But those few experiences were the ones that really, really solidified a care and a nurturing for the outdoors in myself. And those are the experiences that I still draw back to. <laughs> just was an exciting project. It has been just an amazing experience for the kids and very positive for the teachers. And I'm very happy with the results of the grant through the American Honda Foundation integrating EEI with outdoor education. I hope they take what they've learned and apply it to their own environment and to their own lifestyle. When I grow up, I want the world to be healthy and I want the world to be fun to live in.